Way, way too windy to fly today. So I thought I might make a different kind of video because I like making videos. As a pharmacy owner, and a pharmacist, one of my uh, job parameters is to destroy old prescription files. When you bring a paper prescription into the store and drop it off, we have to keep it for a certain number of years and then we can destroy it. I like to destroy them myself. How I do that is I use a leaf blower and I built a blast furnace and it, uh, it incinerates these old prescriptions in quite a spectacular fashion. But at the same time, I wanna do a little uh, wind observation. Since it's blasting so hard out here, I thought it might be a good opportunity to video the smoke and there's gonna be thermals kicking off. They're gonna be broken. I just wonder if we can learn anything by videoing the activity that is happening over here at the furnace. So we're gonna set the camera up and see what happens. That's the plan. So welcome to the world of prescription destruction and smoke watching. Smoke watching is kind of like air watching in that it sort of gives you an idea of what the air's doing because there's something in it. Anytime there's a large fire, it's always interesting to see how the smoke acts with the air around it. So that's what we're fixing to do. coming at you from my town's brand new library. Very nice. I've even got my own little study room that I can narrate in. This is pretty cool. I like the new library. The next part of this video is kind of boring. I'm just watching the smoke. I'm going to narrate through it and explain to you what I'm looking at. If you want to skip on to the end, be my guest. This is, it was just something to do. So. The furnace gets so hot, I think it's cooking somewhere around 900 to 1100 degrees based on the color that the steel turns. Throw about a half gallon of water on there and you make yourself your own little cumi cloud that's exploding up. Gives you a really good representation of what's happening right out here in this field. Just to watch the thermal activity. And of course the wind is insane today. It's really a terrible day to look at it, but I'm still learning something by looking at it. As soon as I turned the camera on, there was actually a thermal breaking off. You can see it right here. I'm going to loop it a couple of times. It's, everything's lifting and then the wind was blowing so hard that as soon as it got to about treetop level, it was just getting chopped. And that's what I mean when I refer to something as being a broken day. The thermals are being chopped by the prevailing winds. And here's a little more smoke coming up. You can see the stuff lifting and then it instantly gets blasted and swirled. And uh, there's some rotor coming off of the edge of the trees here. And so we'll catch some of that here in a minute. There's a good good rotor happening. But just watching the way, I mean, it's not the smoke that's rising. It's the air that's pulling this smoke up. Watch what happens in a second. There's a big gust that rotors over these trees right here. You see that swirl? That's the kind of stuff that if you fly into it, you catch a collapse low to the ground and plow in. Check it out. That's rotor that you're seeing. That's pretty substantial rotor, actually. And then of course, here's everything lifting. Look at that, that thermal breaking off out of the field there. And we're just looking at the, the local environment, micrometeorology, what's happening in this field. I set the camera further back. Now I just want you to watch, there's big thermals that break off like that one there. And then look, burble, 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 and then another big one. The little burbles are the bumps you feel when you're trying to catch thermal, but you're, what you're looking for are the big ones where you get the wind sh direction changes like that and they get sucked up in the sky, those are your strong ones. Now this was a pretty good angle here. If you watch, you can see the big ones as they break off and come up, they actually swirl as soon as they hit that, that strong wind above the trees there. You can see that swirl up. Also look at the clouds. The clouds will tell you a lot about what's going on. As soon as those thermals are punching into the inversion, they're just getting wasted by the even stronger wind above that. You can see they, they're swirling, they're, they're punching, they're shredding to pieces. They're just little, little remnants of clouds, you know, and, and you can tell by how fast they're moving that they're just getting ripped apart by this strong wind that's taking place. But again, it just gives you a, a visual representation of what's going on. Something else that becomes observable are the gusts. If you'll notice when the thermals break off, there's almost a lull in the wind. Everything kind of goes up, the wind doesn't really blow or it goes the opposite direction. And then as soon as that thing breaks off, the, the wind just gusts up under the, underneath it. And you can kind of see it in three dimensions, what's going on. Watch here, everything goes up and then you'll see the air creep in underneath it and just fill in that gap as the thermal breaks off the earth. And uh, it's, you can just see it plain as day. Everything goes up and then air comes in from all around and fills in and you get this, the big gust that you feel in your face. 
Turns out that might have turned out pretty good. My hope is that this is the cherry on top of winter. It got down to 30 something last night. It's supposed to get down to almost freezing tonight. Now this is the middle of April in Louisiana. That's unusual. We don't usually see that cold of weather this time of year. We had kind of a trickery there. It got springtime there for a couple weeks. The guys up north, they're getting buried by snow and such. That's uh, sorry Cliff, man. <laughs> Just stayed around. But we take what we get. It's supposed to warm up nice. Probably this is it. That's my speculation. Hopefully it'll be over with and we can get back to our usual shenanigans. I don't know just how entertaining this video is going to be. You know, watching smoke float through the sky. The more you watch it, the more you learn. It's strange. Just watching the air move. If there's something that you can use, whether it be birds, leaves, clouds, smoke. There's an ocean of air above us and that's our element. That's what we fly in. As much as you can learn about it, I suggest you do. I think I'm fixing to maybe just take the kids to the movies or something. It's blasting. It's gusting to about 30. There'll be no flying today. And, and even this evening, it's going to get cold. You know, I'm back to my usual saying, if you just wait a day or two around here, it won't be cold anymore. So hopefully we'll get back to uh, normal stuff. In the meantime, much love. Kyle out.